Hey there guys, what is going on? Sloppy here, playing some more of the Simple Life 2. Simple Life 2, right? Yeah, Simple Life 2, modded Minecraft, and I've just been having a ball. Um, also, check it out, new uh, CPU. I got an 8-core CPU, which means I can, uh, basically it means nothing for this. It should run smoother, but it's not, which makes me think makes me a little bit nervous, but I have been playing, um, essentially I can play games that I, I wasn't able to play before, you know, games with fancy graphics or, you know, whatever it happens to be. Anyway, um, last time we, uh, were experimenting with Batania, and I said, uh, I have no idea what to do with it. We're making mana. Um, these flowers over here that use water to make mana only last three days, something I found out just after making them. So that's not very great. The endo flames, though, are forever hearts. So we're probably going to create some sort of system to feed them today so we can just have mana being made all the time. As for mana being made all the time, there's a couple things that I think are a little bit too high level for us to try. But there's a couple things that I do want to get. Essentially, there's baubles, which are uh, things that give you little boosts, little buffs. There's a couple that make you walk faster and various things. There's one that pulls items towards you. You know, just all sorts of little things that are just kind of nice. So we're going to try and get into those. I'm going to try and make some of those today. Um, first things first, so we're going to need quite a bit of mana. So I do want to automate uh, feeding those um, endo flames, which I think we might feed them wood. I want to make a system where I can basically put anything into a chest and it will just feed them over time. But I was thinking about coal, and we use coal to power our whole system, but we have so much wood from uh, George, our lumberjack over there. We actually have two lumberjacks, except one of them just doesn't work. He doesn't collect wood. Only George over here, who I can see right now, is just standing still. What are you doing, George? Hmm. Curious. Curious, curious, curious. Anywho, so the other thing I want to do is check my quest book. Um... Yeah, I, I often just forget that the quest book exists, if I'm being honest with you guys. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, okay, the quest book exists. And look at all this good stuff we can get. <laughs> all these rewards that I just, you know, completely forget about. Guy has power. Floral fertilizer. That's why that never unlocked, because I never actually made floral fertilizer. Um, I want to unlock the quest line for the, tink uh, not Tinkers, the, um, this mod. My goodness, this mod, Botania, is what it's called. I want to unlock the uh, quest book for Botania. Why do I have bones in here? I don't, I don't know. I also want my mortar pestle, which is here. Uh, but yeah, so I often forget the quest book is there, but you get some pretty good rewards from doing them, so I should probably check it more often. Whoops, I, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say here. Uh, yeah, we do have all the flowers. I'm not worried about, you know, losing them. I need a little bit more powder. I think I can just use any color, but let's find out, shall we? So, uh, floral you. What am I missing? Bone meal. I have bones. Let's make it all bone meal because we're going to make some more of those. Uh, I'm a little bit low on bones in general. <clears throat> Does that make one? What do I need for the quest? I need two. Oh, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'll just do this off camera. But yeah, I need uh, more bones. Uh, my mob farm isn't working great. I still think there's a lot of unlit areas in the area, and it's just, it's not working great. We may try and upgrade that today as well. There's a lot of stuff I want to do. We'll see how much I actually get done. But yeah, I want to move a little bit forward in Batania. So first things first, I do want to get an automated system to make mana. So yeah, let's just get into that right away. I solved a little bit of the uh, stuttering issue. I raised to 120. I had it down at like 90. I thought maybe that would help it be a little smoother, but I raised it back to 120, and a lot of that seems to have gone away, which is different. Uh, anyway, you can see over here I've got an Etho Hopper Clock because I went with what I knew. You know, this will move back and forth really smoothly. And, uh, yeah, there's I was searching clock and pulse and all sorts of things, and I couldn't find, um, like, any sort of modded thing that would give me just a simple pulse. So I just went with this. 
kind of roughing it. I do want to send this a pulse pretty rapidly, uh, which is nice with the Etho, the clock, because um, the Hopper clock is nice because you can control it very specifically, right? So I can uh, adjust it if it's too fast, too slow, just by taking or adding items, which is cool, which is cool, which is cool. This hemp just does not grow. Um, whatever, whatever. So uh, I do want to put just a little uh, shield because sometimes these um, droppers can be a little sporadic. Look how nice the dark oak chest is. Isn't that just gorgeous? What a beautiful texture. But yeah, so we can load that up. Right now it's got a bunch of wood in it. Um, but yeah, gorgeous. So we're going to set up this to just send a pulse. Uh, so let's do... Uh, I should, probably should have moved this back a block or two. Let's do something like that. So underneath here... Uh, oh, actually we'd want it at this height, right? Give me just a second to set up a quick pulse here. Uh, something like that. Um, and then... I don't know. This is kind of janky. I'm just trying to get sort of the idea. Right, so this should work. Did that throw down wood? Oh, look at that. Okay, these broke. These are done. That was fun. <clears throat> so yeah, we can just have that throw down wood. It'll throw it randomly. I thought... Because I was using a dropper, it would probably randomly send it just different directions. Which is kind of what I was going for. Eventually, I'll probably just put nine in here. And, uh, you know, if we want more of these, I could probably just add in a little another pen. Or just more droppers and spread them out. But I was thinking we'll probably put, like, nine in here. Um, looks like we can probably speed that up. It's eating the wood pretty fast. So, I assumed it would work kind of like furnaces where, you know, wood isn't as good as coal and then blah, blah, blah seems to be the case. Uh, we could probably have it pulse a little bit faster. So let's take out some of the items. Yeah, you can see that's working pretty well, though. So that's cool. We can uh, adjust that as we see fit. Um, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And then if we want to, you know, if we want to uh, put other stuff in it, we just have to put it in the chest. So that's cool. So that's basically mana wouldn't say automated because we still have to fill the chest, but that's mana, you know, relatively taken care of. Let's just toss that in there as well. That's mana. It's going to work. Um, you can see it's still filling. We should get rid of this. It's not too pretty. We can, uh, you know, prettify this up if we want. I just wanted to more get a proof of concept. But uh, let's see. Yeah, I have to pick up some of this stuff because, you know, that's how it works. We get a water bucket. Great. Pure Daisy, we have for sure. Uh, let's put you back down. Cool, cool. I just wanted to complete some of this quest. Pure Daisy, my little lady. Man, the hitboxes on flowers are so bizarre sometimes. First flower. Oh, I get a second one. Very cool. Living wood, I definitely have. Living rock, well, I will have as soon as I... Break all this. Uh, right. Living rock. We get a little bit more. Very cool. Um, the flower of mana. I do have one of those. Alfheim. Elven gateway core. It is said that there is a world beyond ours that is home to strange creatures who have a deep understanding of how to manipulate mana. Living beings cannot traverse. Items can be traded through the portal. Oh. Portal to Alfheim. So, I can't go through it, but apparently I can trade with them? Interesting. How do I make that? Let's see. Elven Core. Uh, Terra Steel. That's pretty easy. Okay. Interesting. Wand of the Forest. Um, cool, cool, cool. Uncommon Loot Bag. So, a lot of these are relatively easy. We've kind of already done them. A lot of uh, stuff happening there. But yeah, let's see. What was the thing I wanted to do now that we've got sort of automated mana? I think we should get into a, making a few of the runes and try and make some of this. Plains Petal Apothecary. Never mind. I guess I'll have to go to the Lexica Botanica. Ooh, this is a little too fast, I guess. A little too fast. It's not eating it fast enough. 
It's not eating it fast enough. Um, yeah, you can see we're wasting a little bit here. You know what, let's just kind of reset it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to, uh, you know what, let's just look real quickly together. Uh, bottles and accessories. So there's a few different things. I kind of want this Plain Striders sash. Plain Strider sash works as an alternative to the Sujuner sash. Unlike the Affer, um, right. So it takes the Sojourner Shaft, a map, Pasture Seeds, shift click. So this takes the Rune of Earth, Mana Steel, Rune, and Leather. We can do that. So yeah, let's make some more of this iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to get some of this together. The other reason I wanted to get um, a lot of this stuff done is a lot of the seeds that I want to make to automate some of the item production uh, requires the runic altar and mana. So this will all come full circle. That's pretty cool though. Well, let's make some runs. Let's make some runs. Uh, you. Bloop. Uh, one of you, one of you. Uh, I need stone. One stone, uh, I think block of coal, and one stone. Yeah, that makes you, uh, oh, maybe I need to reroute some of this. Do I call it power? I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, so now it's going there as opposed to there. So that doesn't look like it's backed up now, which is nice. So this, oh yeah, you can see it's got a little clock making the rune. So that's going to be one of the runes. Uh, right, and the rune of air I have everything for. I have all this stuff, which is cool, so we should be able to get the Sojourner Stash, Sojourner Stash, Sojourner Sash, which is great, except it takes a little bit of, this is the one that, yeah, this is the one that pulls stuff towards you. It does take mana to use this Sojourner Sash, apparently. Um, it does cost a small amount of mana, which just makes me assume I need to get, like, a band of mana. Easily worn ring. It could be worn as a bauble. Right. So I should make this mana tablet. I should make this mana tablet. Oh, that's really easy. Okay, we can do that while we're waiting for this other thing. Um, right, and then... Ooh, I need to get a diamond, I guess. Yeah, so I've been working my way a little bit through this Lexica Batania book. Got a little bit of help from the one and only Sidemaster, who's also playing this pack. Um, he's the Batania expert. He recommended some of this stuff. It's also, it's a very well-written uh, book, if you're playing the pack. Um... Okay, let's do that, and I think this, or was it an ender pearl? No, it was this. So I believe with this, you can store mana? Right. I think that'll take mana now, right? Yeah, you can see it's got like a little bit of a bar now. So this will actually take the mana from the pool so we can like store it, which is neat. Okay. Okay, so we're going to turn that into a ring as well, so we can wear it around. Uh, sadly, it doesn't have Wi-Fi. I like that. Oh, actually, I think we can do that now. Let's do this. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, okay. And using some Terra Steel allows for an upgrade. Oh, that's the upgrade. How do I make this? Oh, it's all three together on a... Right, so that's some sort of upgradable thing in the future, so we can upgrade this ring. Ayo! Particles, no sound. Don't know why. Working on that. I apologize. No sound this episode from the game, because... I, I, I don't know why it's work, not working, to be honest with you. Uh... Wait, so do I have to... Uh, 
I don't fully understand. I have to give it living rock? Is that what it's asking for? Hey, okay. <laughs> So that's what you gotta do. You put down Living Rock and then hit it. It gives you two. Uh, that's nice to know. So I can, I'll probably use these runes quite a bit. Uh, so the next one was bloop, 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 bloop. Did I just crush that? Nailed it. Okay, I'll wait for that one. Um, yeah, I'll bring you guys back. We should be able to make the Sojourner's Sash, which will be cool. And uh, yeah, we've got our Band of Mana. All right, we're rock and rolling with this mod. All right, let's see it. Uh, so we go here, bobble. Are we faster right now? Ooh, we can walk up. Right, I'm not jumping. We can just walk up one block, which is cool. Can we walk over? Ooh, oh, whoa. We do get a jump boost though. Okay, okay. I see how we play in this. Can I jump two blocks? Oh, this will actually be so nice for adventuring. This will be so nice for adventuring. Uh, it doesn't seem to have used too much of the mana. So let's just compare walking speeds. So that's without it. And... Yeah, we're quite a bit faster. Okay, that'll actually be quite nice for uh, our adventuring times. Which is cool. Which is very cool. I just keep making more of that. Show, uh, yeah, that was basically all I wanted to get done with this today. We could make the Plain Striders Sash, but I don't know. Let's, uh, let's get an Ender Pearl and do this. Let's get an Ender Pearl. Let's just work our way a little bit more through the quests. Um, a little bit more through the quests, I guess. Uh, let's take one of you and let's grab a diamond. We'll do one more of those. Um, so there's a few more things you can do with this mod, but I just, I don't know them too much. Um, it just feels like a lot of the other stuff, I know there's like a monster you fight, but I feel like that's a bit beyond us. Uh, oh. Okay, I don't have enough to change that yet, is that? Uh, okay, we gotta wait for a bit more mana, I suppose. Yeah, there's some like stuff you can fight, I think it's called a Gaia. You know, there's a few other things, which is all well, but I just don't think we're a high enough level of stuff yet. Like, you know, our, uh, our, our armor and our weapons and whatnot, but we'll work on that soon. Yeah, we'll work on that very soon. Oh yeah, get that toast. Whoop! Yeah, this is actually really nice. This is really nice. This will be uh, great for exploring. Okay, so... Yes, and that's you. Um, does it give us one? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, mana diamond? Not quite. Do I have, like, just a mana diamond around, though? I already used it, I guess. Come on now, just let me do it. Let me do it. Anyway, let's see what other baubles there are. So, there's some pretty cool-looking stuff. When Warren will get any knockback. I mean, that doesn't seem great, but okay. Uh, any nearby still water at foot level will be converted to ice. Okay, so that's the same as that thing. Third eye. Um, nearby mobs will be highlighted visible through walls. That could be really handy. Um, this could be really handy if we want to do some of those dungeons. Magnetization uh, will bring stuff towards you. What's dexterous motion? Prevent damage during combat. Well worn, one can press their left right keys to quickly sweep to the side, dodge attacks. That's kind of cool. That might be useful once we start getting into fighting. Shoveling, switching tools is a pain. Using the ring of correction. This ring is worn, the tool in hand will always be the right one for... Oh! That's really neat. Clay and four things. Let's make this. That sounds really nice. Okay, uh, let's grab some clay. I don't know if you guys read that. Basically, whatever block you're looking at, it will automatically switch to the tool that works best for that. Uh, that's actually really nice. Is it like this? Yeah, I think it was clay. Correction. 
Yeah, just clay. Interesting. That sounds really nice, actually. It seems like there's a bunch of just really useful little things. What is happening? Why is it doing this? I don't know why it's putting it in different slots in my inventory. Whatever. Bloop, 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 bloop. So it'll use a small amount of mana. Okay, let's see what this is like, though. Okay, it's not switching. <laughs> it didn't switch at all. Uh, so let's maybe... No? Maybe it's because... No, it's not working at all. I mean, maybe I don't have enough mana. Maybe it's because, like, it's Tinker stuff and it only recognizes vanilla. That's a shame. That's a shame. I was... I had high hopes for that. Anyway. Really? I still don't have enough mana to do this? Huh. Okay. Okay. I'll see how it is. Let's look at some of the other ones we can do here. Uh, bobbles and accessories. Mana Seer Monocle. Uh, it allows you to see nearby mana bursts. I don't know quite what that does. Band of Aura. Uh, instead of storing mana, it slowly well-equipped creates it and stores it into mana-containing items. Oh! This might be something. So, it takes a rune of mana. Yeah, let's make that. Okay, so basically, if you guys didn't uh, read that with me. Essentially, it... Um, Uh, it, uh, what? why does it keep going to that page? This, uh, basically, when you're moving around, this band of aura will create, uh, mana for you, as opposed to the other one, uh, that we made, which just uses mana. So this will create mana, hopefully enough to keep the Sojourner Sash good. That would be handy. So let's see, that's five. All right. All right. Uh, one, one, two, three, four. Four, five, and you. There's not enough mana. Is there enough to make this yet? You know what? I'm going to do a little bit off camera here. Check out this band of aura. It sounds pretty neat, though. Oh, I think we're out of wood over there. Oh, so it hasn't been producing mana. It's awkward. I have just been making runes like a crazy person. Just rune after rune after rune. Now I'm just waiting on some mana steel. Um, I've got all five of my runes, which gave me a rare loot bag. Uh, thank you very much. Which is cool. The Four Seasons. Ooh. That's pretty epic loot bag. Ooh. But yeah, now I'm trying to get um, to Alfheim. Not really trying to get there. Um, but I do want to make uh, this thing. The TA Plate, which is how you make Terra Steel, which is cool. I'm just waiting on some more... Seven. I need two more of these to change. Um, but yeah. Terra Steel um, Algo... Aglom Terra Steel Agglomeration Plate, I believe, is what we're trying to call that. We need that to make Terra Steel, which is the pretty... Uh, ooh, those are expensive, eh? But we need to make this pretty... pretty uh, what color is that? Lime green? And uh, that'll allow us to... Um, go to Alfheim, or trade with Alfheim, whatever. Yeah, we need some of these, and, uh, what is this? Oh, right. Forgot to shift click. What do I need to make you? Right. So, actually, it's, uh, I mean, the, uh, things themselves are kind of expensive, but, um, one more. The things themselves are kind of expensive, the Terra Steel ingots, but overall, it doesn't seem like we need them too much immediately, which is nice. Because uh, I am a little bit low on the Ender Pearls, um, but that's all right. I think next episode we're uh, almost done with this one. It's been a while, it's Britannia, man. This things take time. I also made a few more Endo Flames just to ramp up the mana production. Um, oh yeah, I, I think I showed you guys. I made my uh, Band of Aura, which is cool. Which uh, essentially means I won't run out of mana on my Sash, which means I'll always be able to run really fast. I might try making the Plane Striders one, which basically, you don't always have a speed boost, but the more you walk, the faster you get until you're walking very fast. I kind of want to get into flight, though. I think next time I want to ramp up our crops, our magical crops, so that we don't have to mine anymore. I'd like to make sort of all the seeds we can, which now with the Runic Altar, we sort of can. Oh, we're ready. We are ready. 
Let's do one of those. And, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Terra Steel. Okay. Uh, I can't just copy this, can I? Uh, so let's go. Oh, I need to make. Uh, oh, this is awkward. Yeah, but I'd like to get a few more crops going. We need the um, runic altar for some of them, but not all of them. But yeah, I'd like to get the crops going a little bit more. Yeah! Okay, cool. I'd like to get the crops going a little bit more um, and just sort of have them going so that we always have all the items. And then we can get into, you know, we can make our storage system. We can make maybe a jetpack kind of want to get flight if you haven't heard already so uh you good sir um let's just try and make one block of terra steel before we end today so mana pearl mana steel ingot mana diamonds boy oh boy running the gauntlet of things that you can have huh i also think this needs i think this needs mana Uh, I think it needs mana. Right. Um, nothing's happening yet. Creating, there's living rock under the plate. You know what? I should have read. I was thinking about that when I was placing this plate down. I was like, hmm, I wonder what that middle block is. I just assumed it was the other one. Good thing I read that. I would have been sitting there all day. Uh, let's see. Are you still going there? Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't see any particles. Um, after the plate is set up and ready to receive mana, tossing a single mana steel on top of it will begin the infusion. About half a mana pool to create a single piece of terra steel. That's a lot. Do I have to taught, do I have to point the spreader at it though? Mana needs to be provided to this block. Right. Sparks being the most effective method. I don't even know what that means. Um, I don't know. Let's maybe just leave it and see if we get a piece of Terra Steel. I guess I could leave this episode on a cliffhanger. Come back next time to find out if we did this properly. Uh, no, I won't do that. I'm going to try and... Um, you know what? Let's try using this a little bit. Right, and then switch that back. And let's see if this helps. Right, so those group up. I'm not sure if it's doing anything, to be honest with you. I don't think it took any of the mana off of my thing. Um, after the plate is set up and ready to receive mana, tossing a single diamond mana steel ingot on top of it. Creating the plate, right? Um... Set up on top of a checkerboard. Mana needs to be provided to this block. Mana needs to be provided to this block. I assume means the plate itself and not the block underneath it. Right? Am I crazy in thinking that? I'm right-clicking the plate and it seems to put stuff in it. So that's... I don't know if it's receiving mana. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just going to let this run for a bit and see what happens. All right. I didn't quite figure it out. I lowered this by one. I thought maybe the mana spreader wasn't getting to it. I don't know if maybe I just misclicked before, but now I'm seeing sparks. Which means we, uh, we've we got this. So we've got a bit of an automated uh, generation of mana. We made a bunch of runes. We've got some of these baubles. We can walk fast now. We can make our own mana. We can store mana. I'm feeling pretty positively about this. This was a good day of Batania exploration. And now that we can get Terra Steel, we can probably start off next time maybe by um, visiting the Elven Kingdom or whatever that stuff does. Next time, I also want to uh, work on our farms a bit. I'd like to get more stuff being automated by these farming stations. So we'll probably do that. I also want to redo our downstairs area where we have uh, some of our other farm stuff. But yeah, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If I screwed up everything, if this is uh, sort of okay, if there's an easier way to do all of this, you know, any of that sort of stuff. And uh, subscribe for more. I'm really enjoying this modded Minecraft thing. So hopefully we can have even more fun. I'd also really like to fly soon. That's high on my list. But I want to get everything else sorted. So that when we get to that stuff, we can just cruise through it. Also, maybe we'll check out a dungeon. You know, we have like okay armor-ish. Maybe a dungeon would be cool. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. I would stay and show you this Terra Steel. But apparently this takes a ton of mana. So this might be a little slow. Maybe we should expand our mana, you know, just put a second dropper, maybe have like 18 endo flames. Do I need that much mana? I don't know. Either way, see you next time. A ciao!